we are starting a new series to answer the questions that are most frequently asked on the channel. Many people ask us if they should come on tourist visa to find a job in Singapore. So this video, let's answer this question for you. Before that, please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Also, if you have any other questions, then do write them in the comment section below. Okay, let's start with the current situation. In the times of COVID-19, firstly, tourists are not allowed to come to Singapore. And even if people are coming, then they have to serve a quarantine for 14 days and which will cost 2000 Singapore dollars to stay in government dedicated facilities. Now let's assume that this COVID-19 situation ends. Then what will happen if you are coming on tourist visa? First, let's talk about what will be your expense in this case. Your tourist visa fees will be 30 Singapore dollars plus if any service fees is applicable as per your home country. Then your flight tickets will be approximately 200 to 300 Singapore dollars bare minimum. Then your accommodation if you are staying in hostel which is like cheapest option 20 Singapore dollars per night it comes out to be 600 Singapore dollars for 30 days. Then your food will also be at least 300 Singapore dollars for 30 days. Then your transport, mobile and other miscellaneous charges will come out to be 50 Singapore dollars. Then your insurance of 100 Singapore dollars. Don't skip on insurance because medical is really very expensive in Singapore. And if you calculate the total of all this, it comes out to be nearly 1500 Singapore dollars. Now let's understand what will happen if you are here on tourist visa. So firstly, your tourist visa is valid only for 30 days. Now what all you need to do in these 30 days? You will be applying the jobs also if not applied already. You will be going for the interviews also. And uh, if you are selected for any interview, there may be multiple rounds also. Then uh, let's suppose that you got the offer letter. Now, your company needs to apply for your work visa. Then minimum work visa application process goes for two to three weeks. So you need to wait for your IP approval also. In these 30 days, if you don't get your IP approval, that is in principle approval, then you need to leave the country and remember that there is no extension of tourist visa so even if the employer has already applied your work visa but you have not received in principle approval you still need to leave the country but this was an ideal case where you at least received an offer letter actually this does not happen practically in 30 days applying for the jobs getting the interview scheduled and getting an offer letter also is a big task. Forget about receiving an IP letter. In 30 days, sometimes you will not even receive any interview call. Now, the reason for which most people want to come to Singapore on tourist visa is that thing that they will get priority in getting a job for themselves. But actually, that's not the case for employers. It's same time, money and effort in hiring you on tourist visa in comparison to the person who is outside Singapore, for them it's no difference. In my opinion, spending 1500 Singapore dollars where you are not even getting a guarantee of getting a job is completely wastage of money. I would suggest that all the efforts that you are putting by coming here in Singapore, you can do it from your home country also. Same way of applying the jobs, same way of contacting the companies. The only difference is of interviews. There will not be face-to-face -face interviews, but these days technology is really advanced. There is Skype, there is Zoom. You can go for video calls and companies actually prefer that Probably if you are in Singapore, then also they will prefer video calls instead of meeting you face to face. In case, even if they want to meet you face to face when you are in your home country, then they usually pay for your expenses to call you on tourist visa to Singapore for attending an interview. Then why you want to spend your hard earned money? You waste your time and efforts. In case you are wondering how you should find a job, then I have already done a very detailed video where I have talked about free portals, free websites and how you should network with people to get the right job for yourself. Do have a look at that. I will leave the link in the description below. 
and remember if you have the capability then wherever you are you will definitely strike the job for yourself just stay confident and keep applying for the jobs hope you got the answer to this question if you like it please hit the like button share it with your friends and family members and if you have any other questions then write them in the comment section below also please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon if you need one to one consultation then you can reach out to us on our facebook page or instagram thanks for watching the video bye for now